My name is James Donna and I'm a second year computer application student. And my name is James Donahue. I'm the current education officer. I'm a journalism graduate. Ever since I've come to DCU, I've been heavily involved in representing students. And because of that, I see many things and issues that students have and I'd love to be able to solve their issues for them and help them with different and various issues. So that's why I want to be the next Academic Affairs Officer because I want to affect every student's academically, both inside the classroom and outside. I'm running because currently I'm the Education Officer and I love my job. It's really rewarding. Uh, you meet different students every day of the week, but also next year with the incorporation and all the new campuses. It's a, it's a fresh challenge and I think there's some ideas I'd like to implement across all campuses, so that's why I'm running. So I suppose this year, the, the two busiest days of the year for me were exam results and it's extremely stressful for students, but I suppose my worry will be not enough students are getting information, so the thing I want to set up after exam results is a free helpline for our students so they can get advice and support from that for the days after exam results. The big thing I would like to see is earlier continuous assessment results and earlier repeat results because many students come to me and say that their continuous assessment results are after exams or just before exams and that's not good enough and with repeat students many of them are waiting they're going out on intro and they're waiting for the repeat results to come back so if we could have continuous assessment and repeat results earlier that would be good for every student so i've lots of experience in first year i was a class rep for computer applications and this year i'm the engineering and computing faculty representative so i represent every student in the engineering and computing faculty both undergraduate and postgraduate students. So I'm just back from a two hour education meeting myself. So I do have a lot, an awful lot of experience in dealing with student issues and dealing with committee issues or university issues also. And as well as that, I'm very heavily involved in societies here in DCU. I'm the treasurer of Harry Potter at current as well. So I'm vastly experienced. Well, I suppose I have some experience. <laughs> uh, this year I've been the education officer obviously and I think it's effectively the same role, but it's more academic. Um, I sit on 17 different committees in throughout to all the campuses already. But I suppose the most important experience is it's a peer-to-peer -peer role. Students do call into you, and yeah, I have that experience. And I know easy. the structures and stuff, so that's my experience. I'm halfway through my degree, so I'm on the ground with students at the moment. I know the issues that are coming, and I know the issues that are before me as well. So I know issues. I know the issues that students are having, and I'd be able to represent and get that get that voice across if I were to be elected as an academic affairs officer. As well as that, I have been a class rep in first year. This year, I'm a faculty rep, and I hope to be the academic affairs officer next year. Basically, I've come up through all those positions, so I know how uh, the education officer or the academic affairs officer can work with class reps and faculty reps as well. I think I have that to my advantage and I can utilise those positions as well. I suppose the main thing that probably sets me apart is the experience I have in the role already, but more than that so is kind of the enthusiasm I have for the role and it's been seen like often spaggle officers kind of get tired and stuff throughout the year, but I'm kind of full of energy and I think another year of me around would help the union in general. <laughs>